It was a chunk of metal that fell from the elevated train here and landed on a car. It has prompted more inspection and work of the elevated tracks. Investigators say it may have been knocked loose by a passing truck. Still, two incidents in two weeks has many now losing confidence in the safety of the infrastructure. Another busy rush hour on the elevated 7 train and below on Roosevelt Avenue in Woodside, Queens, and another piece of falling debris coming from the tracks. The second incident in as many weeks, it now has drivers and riders deeply concerned. People have been talking about, you know, what happened the last time. And uh, now people are a little bit nervous about crossing the street. Workers sweep metal from the street while above the MTA works to repair the tracks where Wednesday a chunk of metal fell from the elevated tracks and landed below. It happened on the corner of 61st Street and Roosevelt Avenue in Woodside on one of the city's busiest and most crowded train lines. Here we are again with uh, the MTA and all of us uh, wondering when this is going to stop. The councilman Jimmy Van Bramer says it's only a matter of time before someone gets hurt and he's calling on the MTA to do better. When they said they they scoured this area two weeks ago to make sure this could never happen again, what were they looking at? Just two weeks ago, four blocks away, this wood beam fell from an abandoned platform, barely missing the Uber driver when it pierced his windshield, coming inches from where he was sitting. Surveillance video shows the moment it happened. This has prompted a thorough inspection of hundreds of miles of elevated train tracks. In a statement, the MTA called this second incident in weeks obviously very concerning, and we're glad no one was hurt. We take the safety of our customers, employees, and neighbors very seriously. What this material is and where it came from is under investigation.